Jesus. There is apparently now a Minecraft movie. I, I, did anyone know about this? No. no. I didn't did anyone know this was a thing. This? No. <laughs> How quickly do you think they rushed this idea together after they saw the success of Mario Brothers about, about a year minutes. and a half ago? Like, Let's yeah, do a it does Minecraft seem like a movie. Thing. Kids will love that. Oh, we got to make it woke. Is it woke? Oh, well, yeah. There's Jason, out. Momoa That's with, Jason Momoa with a fringe. Yeah. Yeah, like I was telling you earlier, I had uh, only one friend ever who was male, had long hair that had a fringe. And uh, we helped him to come out of the closet some years later. So, <laughs> uh, Maybe there you go. No one needs help. I don't know what the f what is this like what they did with John Cena, where they had him appear naked at the Oscars or whatever it was. Um, so that like it's like you've got to go through some kind of a humbling ritual in order to become a made man in Hollywood. You know what I mean? It's like the, yeah. there's a hazing process. Yeah, the humiliation rituals of the Hollywood machine. Mm. I wonder if that's what they're doing to Momoa because they keep casting him as like, like beta cut dickheads, mm. and, and this guy clearly just is not that. You know, he's like this big jacked, freaking manly looking dude. You know, he was <laughs> Carl Drogo for the love of God. You know, I mean, you from Carl Drogo to fringe, long hair in a fringe. Or bangs, as they say in America. All right, then. I guess we'll watch this. God. All right. Minecraft the movie. For God's sake. This way. That was ass. That was pure ass. As one of the few... As one of the few gamers who didn't actually like Minecraft as a concept or as a game, I can tell you that... For this franchise, this billion-dollar franchise, bought up by Microsoft, one of the first uh, um, Xbox acquisitions of the uh, eighth generation uh, of gaming, I can tell you that this movie makes the Minecraft game look way, way better. But don't worry, it has diversity. They've, they've got... tried... Sorry, Rev, you go ahead, mate. we got strong, independent black women of power. We've got Jason Momoa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even know where to start. I'm really confused. <laughs> um, it is. It's like Jumanji. Um, that's what it's I, Jumanji. It is. It's fucking Jumanji. Perfect. Exactly. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. And it you is. have the kid who's got like the, the MacGuffin. And then, and then it's, yeah, it's going to be like Jumanji, but with blocks. Dude. Oh, dude. Are you. Telling I'm me, Steve. you mean to tell me that all this time, Steve from Minecraft? I, I gotta get a picture of him on screen. Uh, let me go find that, that all this time. This guy, this guy who has really got very little character about him at all, actually, and is just an avatar. And that's kind of the meme. The meme is that in this day and age, there's a character with literally no character whatsoever. Yeah, he doesn't have a um, character. Model. He's he's such a non-character that he's actually become a character. He's mm. like even more of a silent protagonist than Link, and that's why he made it to Smash Bros. as a as a playable character. I hate playing as him, by the way. But right, I found a picture this, of him. This fucking guy. What what are you trying to show me a picture of? I've got a picture of Steve, like cartoon rendition of him from. Oh, Steve okay, Hitler. yeah. Share your screen. Hang on, I'll take this off. All right. <laughs> so and what I'm decided... about to show you, ladies and gentlemen, is Jesus Christ. So keep in mind, we just had Jack Black be Steve. This up, is I'll what Steve up. kind of looks like. Yeah, that that's more what I would expect from Steve. Yeah. <laughs> I can just you know, see a, a, a guy, a guy who's rugged enough to be able to rip trees apart with his bare hands. I am Steve. You kind of imagine when you look at um, the one that I've got. Hang on, I'll share mine yeah, I mean, again. It, you kind of imagine when you look at this guy that you like, you know, he, yeah, he's got, I guess, a little beard <laughs> going on. 
but basically he's uh you know he must be relatively jacked right like he he's got to be in pretty good shape to be able to do all the stuff that he can do in minecraft like basically completely change the molecular structure of the world if, like, eventually uh and they have decided that the best person to represent this is jack black who has never been physically fit and is now what 50 and uh actually i don't know how old and i'm sorry but can we get rid of that fucking badger beard all right we i've had enough jack all right it's old now no one's impressed by your goddamn beard shave it off again crying out loud looks ridiculous um you look like you haven't had a fucking shower in 10 years <laughs> he probably hasn't that's you know, I'm going to look like Jack Black in five years' time, ladies and gentlemen. What, you're going to look like Jack Black in five years' time? Yes, as a 30-year-old. Mm. You're going to look like this guy when you're 30? Yes. Jesus, he looks like a sex offender. To be fair, you kind of do look like that. Yeah, so that's, that's not actually in Dobby, you're one to talk. You actually look like a camouflage child predator. Jack Black is, what, how old? 55? Mm. Yeah, that's fair. But there's now, Jack Black. I mean, first of all, I would have I would have avoided that bullet at all costs after the Trump thing. Um, after the you know Kyle Gas and his stupid comments about no, don't miss next time or whatever. Maybe that's why he's in this movie so he can like build blocks. I mean, just... Obviously, they cast him. Sorry, Rev. Obviously, they cast Jack Black before they before he his bandmates of that stupid crap. But after he fucking went out on stage, surely, and, and started wanking on about Joe Biden, why have they done this? Yeah, no, uh, I know you don't like... They just found him at home, too. I, I know you don't like this narrative, uh, Will, but no one asked for this. No, no one, no, in I mean, a sense, I... wanted this. It's being showcased by Warner Brothers for some reason. <laughs> When when Mojang is owned by Microsoft, you know there was a time not that long ago, well, fifteen years ago or twenty years ago, when I thought Jack Black was the coolest motherfucker in the world. I I tried to sing just like him and kind of made a name for myself at the local pubs, singing Tenacious D songs. And now I'm just like, you are lame. You are lame. Why is he in this movie? Is, is, is this going to be some postmodern deconstruction of Steve? Yeah. Oh, he's old now. He's had it. He's over the hill. He can't hack it anymore. It, bitch, the guy's never had a character. He's a blank slate. Mm -hmm. He's just there to be an avatar. They probably picked his t-shirt color at random. Make him a bad guy. I mean, well, he's uh, white. He and will be the yeah, bad guy, won't he? It, it, it's, He'll turn yeah, out to be the bad guy. Yeah, it's a great idea. A man who, who made a name for himself in that universe, who's been there too long, who wants to get the fuck out, and he welcomes these other people with open arms, all nice and friendly, like Steve would, apparently, because he's like the main mascot, finds out how that. they... We don't know anything about Steve. <laughs> Find, finds out how these main characters, these other characters, got into the universe and then stab them in the back and then get the fuck out of there. Um, There was a Minecraft story mode that came yeah. out like a decade ago or so. Um, and uh, I don't know anything about it. I wasn't around it's for it. It's completely different from this. It, it's much better. So there's no Steve? There's hints at Steve, yeah, but there's no kind of... But there's no actual characterized Steve, so he remains a blank slate then, yeah. like I said. Okay, exactly. I just wanted to know if I was right or if they had actually, a tr a, like, given him a character before. Because the way Jack Black says... Hang on, let me play it. Hang on. I'm Steve. <laughs> Hello, Poe. What are you doing in this universe? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, It's like, you know... It's like, hey, you guys, you one of you here watching right now, maybe you're like the first time, this is the first time you've ever watched this channel, right? Mm -hmm. And I come up on full screen and I go, I am Will. <laughs> like that's supposed to mean See anything. See what I did anywhere. there. Yeah. 
but the, the point is that it's a it's a meta textual joke, right? Like the whole point is he's going, "I am Steve," I'm so Steve. that the parents of the intended audience will go. <gasps> But I don't believe for a fucking second that a guy who's never spoken in the history of the game would introduce himself in such a grandiose way. Maybe I know that's like the smallest nitpick ever, but it really is bugging me. Maybe he was auditioning for Batman, and he, <laughs> he was going to say Batman, and then he forgot, I'm Steve. Let me take you for a ride in my van. In my van. <laughs> I'm Steve. Get in my van. <laughs> It puts the Minecraft blocks in the van or it gets water again. again. I gotta play it again. Like, I am Steve. Why is uh, all right? That is just cringe. Okay, and next thing, why is everything Jack Black now? Why? It was in the 2000s and it didn't work. He's got a lot of because, likewise, with that era, Will, he's got a lot of connections. And as a result, he can get positions despite not being suited for the uh, role in question. Likewise, in the 2000s, Jack Black was a very influential figure, especially yeah, in, in acting and entertainment in the, to... in the 2000s. Yeah, you're, you're then, right. He was very well connected. He was getting Foo Fighters to record the background rock hmm. for Tenacious D songs and stuff like uncredited. Like, I don't know what the fuck this and guy then, did. To so and much then clout. He, and then he went under the radar, and really the only things well, he did, he did King Kong, uh, and, and then disappeared for a while. Mm -hmm. Sorry, he yeah. also did the voices for Poe, of course, Kung mm -hmm. Fu Panda, and then he kind of entered the indie scene in the the mid to late twenty tens, especially after Kung Fu Panda three, because of well, it was a great success. They should have ended with that, and then he sort of made a name for himself oddly enough as a content creator he has his own youtube channel it's done very well and then he re-entered the mainstream and has been getting all of these roles whether it's in the mandalorian whether it's in minecraft the the movie also he's the voice of bowser for for super mario bros exactly. he, it, it's as if he went from mainstream to alternative Mm. to hide out for a little bit, to relax for a little bit, and this then nice back into movie. the mainstream again. Yeah. Very yeah, rare. It's, it's interesting. The reason I've put fake Luffy on the screen, by the way, is I don't know if anybody here reads One Piece. I'm a big fan, as you'd probably tell from my hat. Um, but um, there's a there's a time skip. There's a two-year time skip. And after the time skip, they you, you're brought back to the exact location where the pirates were disbanded against their will and sent all over the world. And they're regrouping. The plan is to regroup here. And on the day that they are set to regroup, these other people who are pretending to be them are there. When I see this guy, fake Luffy, uh, who's pretending that he is Luffy as opposed to actual Luffy, who, of course, looks nothing like him. This is what I see when I see this. It's it's fake Steve. It can't. This cannot be Steve. This must be a. He must be a charlatan or something. He must be a a poser because that's just ridiculous. Oh, don't goodbye. worry, Jason. Oh, look, nice ratio. Mm -hmm. Thirteen million views, four hundred thirty-five thousand upvotes, six hundred twenty-nine downvotes. So yeah, it is the will ratio. of the people. There we go. There you go. I mean, um. And Next. you've got the cast as well. You've got Jason Momoa, who looks like a pink version, who looks like a male version of Dora. You've got the body positivity. <laughs> That's good. But these characters, because Minecraft doesn't really have a, a solid story, folks, uh, f f in regards to its base game, which is the foundations of its success, it's essentially an empty cup mm -hmm. for which you could pour in anything and that's the most dangerous kind of a franchise to infect because it mm. is a completely empty cup that yeah, they can almost fill with anything mm. you do <clears throat> when you're adapting it excuse me mm. is uh is gonna have an effect on the actual property itself so like minecraft ostensibly looks like this right mm -hmm. as a game it's that's that's the world it's entirely square hmm. so that you can you know including the characters 
unlike the actors who are not squared. Which is what they should have done, is it, you know, when you go inside the game world that you would become, you know, like a game version of how you would look in real life. So it's almost as if they just couldn't be bothered. And because it's Jason yeah. Momoa and a bunch of kids, right, they're like, oh, yeah, we don't need to bother. We'll, we'll have them looking human because that will really blend into the game world. That, that is a big problem, right? Like the first thing I thought was why are they normal looking when everything else is blocky? Like and and also, I've they've done a terrible job of adapting Minecraft as the mm -hmm. blocky pixelated world into real life because they've made it look ultra real but still inexplicably blocky. Like there, there's there's there has to be a reason for it to look the way it looks. And for Minecraft, it was an aesthetic choice. They decided that they wanted to go with a kind of a retro but also still three D look, which is unique now and. And um, well, maybe not unique. People have copied it, but it it's 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 look. You know, if you see this, you think Minecraft, right? You don't think of anything else. If you see like pixelated three D blocks, it's Minecraft, mm -hmm. right? Now you look at this, it's like okay, but you've kind of missed the point. <laughs> you know, they I'm missed a lot more than a point. And I didn't see like much in this trailer at all of like. Of them building anything. No. They weren't like the whole point of Minecraft is start with nothing. And then you build everything. Down some trees, build yourself a pickaxe, start digging. Well, you can dig with your hands. You know, build things. That's the reason this game is so popular with like kids who have autism, because it is extremely uh well suited to that kind of mind. It's it's actually been lauded for years and years and years now as like the one of the greatest things that ever happened to people with autism was minecraft they've missed the point and and then yeah the characters you've got generic boy generic as fuck girl inexplicably body why unfit body where's the fried chicken ass. yeah right like literally you've got black stereotype <laughs> You know, she's got hideous oh, yeah. hair. She's ugly. She's fat. She's got slag earrings. She's, I'm sorry, uh, Dobby. Do you have a problem with my assessment of this uh, Atreian <laughs> female? And then you've got this. Where the fuck do I start with this? Um, it reminds me of that serial killer from Silence in the Lambs. <laughs> Buffalo, <It> Bill. <laughs> it's Buffalo Bill. Buffalo <laughs> Bill. It puts the diamonds in the bucket. <laughs> and he's wearing a fucking cowboy jacket. He's got like tassels. It's got what? like a pink Michael Jackson jacket. Like, what the fucking hell is this? Maybe that's what he's going for. So he can stand there going, he -he. why? Why? I mean, why is this? That's that's the question. Why is I'd this? I'd rather I'd rather talk about you know a black woman conference than this film anymore. Yeah, fine. Let's move on. That's enough of this crap. Anyway, fucking Make hell. Make this looks end. awful. No. This this this. I guarantee this came. This landed on some producer's table the day after the Mario movie came out. And they were just like, yep, do it, because Mario... Let's get Jason Momoa. Oh, people really like him. Oh, yeah, but, you know, he's too cool. He's too alpha. Let's make him fat and effeminate and and give him, like, a give him like a cat lady's haircut. I'll be honest. When I first <laughs> saw this trailer from the behind, I thought it was, like, an... I think it was either going to be, it's like, a woman or just somebody. Then I saw his beard, and I'm like, what the fuck is... <laughs> All right, I, we will wrap this up, but I, I need to also just mentioned the fact that they've they, they've rendered these these creatures um what the uh, fuck is this i mean it's like, a blocky sheep with pink fur um i guess yeah it's a transgender again. sheep it's a tranny sheep yeah that's right sheep. it's a it's a tranny sheep and you know that now that we've said tranny i'm by by uh obligation gonna have nah, to go demons like demons 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 um this is the point. This is the whole point of this movie, isn't it? This. This is something you can sell in shops to children. 
a square fucking sheep. Play this my just part. this like Minecraft to me. To me, Minecraft can be described in a single word, and that's uncanny. Every time I see Minecraft, I instantly see the uncanny valley, and yeah. I'm amazed that it's done so well. I mean, Will made it clear autistic people love this uh, game franchise. Yeah, Maybe and I wasn't they... doing that as a roast. That, no, I'm serious, no. but go on. <laughs> but to me, from my uh, perspective, not just of the game, but of this movie especially, everything animated about it just looks uncanny yeah. and, and freaky. Yeah, it's too close to really, like, it, the, the CGI is too good. It should have gone back. for a, more of a Toy Story look, like, like, you know, slightly disproportionate, like slightly cartoonish. This looks like a real life version of a Minecraft sheep. And that is fucking terrifying. If you go back to the oh, where we first see the kids, he's holding like one of these weird squares. That's where I thought Jumanji. Oh, yeah, that's that the one space one. stone. That's the it's tesseract. The, it's the fucking tesseract. <laughs> it's the, it's the, it's the infinity. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's the space stone. That's how yeah, they uh, like, go to that universe. What, what he's this wearing. Is what happened, Thanos? Bro, what the fucking hell is this? Is he a gay biker? Probably, yeah. He he's got. Or is he the guy who fluffs the gay bikers? So you've got. Why is she dressed like like she's out of Mary Poppins? Well, because they cop. Uh, they found. And she's dressed like it's the nineteen eighties. Yeah. So she looks like Franklin's mother. What the. <laughs> But she is hideous. Me. Not as I hideous as Jason Momoa, though. I bet they're all going to be our tranny. So the kid's actually a girl. Oh, the girl's actually a boy. And he's holding the Infinity Stone. If Meanwhile, there's pronouns Jason in Momoa this, it's the perfect storm. 